Hello, boys and girls. Many people like the Bible story about how God freed his people from slavery in Egypt. God's people were called the Israelites. Long ago, the people of Israel lived in a place called Egypt. At first, everything was good. But the king of Egypt, called the Pharaoh, became afraid of the Israelites, so he made them to become slaves. They were treated very bad and had to work very hard. The people prayed to God to save them. God answered their prayers by sending Moses to free them and to take them to a special land God had prepared for them. Moses asked Pharaoh to let the people go. But Pharaoh said no. He became angry and made the people work harder. Because of this, God made ten bad things happen to the Egyptians. These bad things are called plagues. The first one was all the water in Egypt became blood. All the fish died and the people of Egypt had nothing to drink. This lasted for seven days, but Pharaoh would not let the people go. Then God sent frogs. The frogs were everywhere. They were in the water and even in the house, but Pharaoh still said no. Next, God sent gnats. They would fly around and bite the animals and Egyptians, making them hurt and itch. But Pharaoh still said no. After the gnats, God sent flies. They also covered the land, getting into everyone's house and on everything. This time Pharaoh thought about letting the people of Israel go to worship God. But then he changed his mind and would not let them go. So God sent another plague. This one caused all the Egyptian animals to die. But the animals that belonged to God's people were not hurt. But Pharaoh was so stubborn that he still would not let the Israelites go. God then made terrible sores come upon the Egyptians. These really hurt bad. Can you believe that Pharaoh still would not let the people go? God then sent a terrible storm that made hail fall. Hail are balls of ice falling from the sky. And at the same time, God sent fire to fall during the storm. Pharaoh asked Moses to stop the storm. Moses did, but Pharaoh would not let the people go. After the hail and fire, God sent another plague. He sent locusts. A locust is like a big grasshopper. The locusts were so hungry, they ate all the plants that the hail and fire did not destroy. This meant there would be no food for the Egyptian people and their animals. Pharaoh still would not let the people go. God then caused darkness everywhere in Egypt for three days except where God's people lived. Pharaoh still said no. God had one more plague. This one was the worst of all. God said that every firstborn child in Egypt would die unless the people spread the blood of a lamb over the door of their house. The people who believed God did exactly that. But everyone who did not believe lost their firstborn child. They also lost the firstborn of their animals. This was such a terrible thing that even Pharaoh's firstborn child died. Pharaoh finally let God's people go. From this story, we learn that God is very powerful. Pharaoh thought he was stronger than God, but he found out he was not. We also learn that God protects his people. We must trust God and do what he wants us to do. This week, let's remember to pray that we will do what God wants us to do. We can remember that God loves us and wants what is best for us.